Hi, it's tech time. So I'm here to share to you a video tutorial on how to use Educandy. During my last discussion, I have shared to you that one of the engaging and fun way of learning words or um, helping our students recognize words is through an online app, which is known as Educandy. So first you have to go to educandy.com and create your account. Once you already have an account, all you have to do is to log in. Okay, so you have to log in. And, okay, so be sure you have created your account first. And then you have to remember your, your account. So this application is a fun and engaging way of helping our students memorize, not only memorize, but be familiarized and recognize terminologies related to our subject. Okay, once you're there, okay, this is how it looks like. All right, so you can choose words, matching pairs, or quiz questions. When you are going to play the words, these are just finding the words um, like when you are doing a puzzle, okay, and you are also doing some sort of um, uh, just words that you wanna that you want your students to learn. So first, you have to create your activity name. So once you create your activity name, you have to create your subject, then click create okay so let me show you first what are the other choices in matching pairs when you click on the matching pairs you need to give your words and then the answer okay so go to my activity again and then for a quiz question you have to create a word and then um create the answer and also you have to give the answers that are wrong because these are a list of questions that you're going to have like a multiple choice okay so let us try to create a list of words using this one okay let's say for example our since i'm a science teacher i am going to write the symbol of elements okay i would like to create the activity i want my students to learn more about how to identify i want to help them to identify and recognize the different symbols of elements so this is under the creed seven science okay and then create okay let's say for example i want them to look for different terms like hydrogen Okay, all you have to do is to add the word. I want them to have nitrogen, add the word, and oxygen. And also, I want them to locate the words such as tungsten and also lead. Okay, as much as possible, I want them to learn the words that are often used. So in this uh, word search, they can make use of or can play with all those words that you have entered. They can play a word search, a hangman, and anagram. So it's very fun. Okay, so let us see how it looks like. We will now generate. Okay, let's say, for example, play symbols. Using word search, you have to click it now. How does you, how does your words look like? So it looks like this. Okay, so it is there is a default time in here. Okay, they can play like that. And you have to look for the following terms. So the students will look for the terms listed here. So let's say for example, I'll be searching for oxygen. So this is the oxygen okay find the words so after they have created the words or they found the words you may also ask them now 
to find to write the corresponding symbol so that's how it is okay or you may also try so after you have created that it is now in your activity list so let us see the symbols of elements which i just created so we can play it now okay so with those words that we have enlisted your students can play word search hangman and anagrams okay let us try the hangman Okay, the hangman looks like this. There you are. So the students will now guess the word. So we have there's letter T. Let's have U. Okay, look at the hangman here. If I got it wrong, let's see what will happen to the hangman. Oops. If the student is again wrong, oops. Okay, so you have the student will make it a point that he will get a correct answer to save the hangman. So let us now help. I think I got a wrong spelling there. Okay, it must be NG anyway. So next word is, let's have I. So there's an I. Um, so do we have nitrogen? Okay, there you are, and then pick next. Okay, so that, that's on the hangman. Okay, the anagram looks like this. Again, with that one activity that you have created, students can play three, um, three types of games. So in your learning management system or in your instruction there, you have to write, Click on the link and then play the games and then write the questions that follow. So you may prepare the question also. How will you share it now? So here is the share. So if this is your work, this is your activity that you want to share, click on the link, copy, and then paste it on your Google Classroom or any learning management system that you want to use. Okay? So I hope you can also do it in matching pairs. So in matching pairs, again, there is a need for you to write words which have meaning or descriptions. Go back to my activities again. For the questions, again, you have to prepare words with correct answer and with answers that are wrong. Okay, I just want to show you how to do or how does it look like for a matching game? So I have already created examples. So let's have the symbols of element. We have their color yellow code. So it means I prepared a quiz question. So it will look like this. It's just for a multiple choice. So when I created the list of words, I also placed there the correct answer and some of the words which are wrong. Okay, so it looks like that. Which of the following refers to net to you? So the answer is this one. So that's correct. So next already, what's the symbol of hydrogen? It must be correct. Okay. So I won. So I only got, I only prepared two questions. So again, how will you share with your students? So all you have to do is to get the URL and then copy. Let's say, for example, you are going to paste it in, copy and paste it in your learning management system. And hooray, your students will now learn those words in a fun and engaging way. Remember, it's not always a technology, but it's, it is a teacher whom who will prepare the technology. Thank you. Till next tech time.